Listen to it all day. That's a lute, an instrument well loved in Ku. That song was beautiful. It's been too long since I've heard the melodies of a lute in the air. Far and wide, people speak of me in awe. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that. They call me Yomi of a Thousand Tones. Wow, what a name! I've traveled to every corner of this world. Taking in my fill of its music along the way. I have a song for every occasion, every place, every person. <sighs> You've piqued my interest. Let's have one then. Gladly. Provided you have the coin. My thousand tones were mastered at great effort, after all. I you have money, right, Hikari? this do? Is this enough, Lady Yomi? Of course! This shall buy you a song. One that will fit you as well as your finest kimono. However... Hmm? I require time to make ready. Return to me tomorrow eve, and you shall have what you paid for. Ah, behind every great show is hours of preparation. Just so. Now gird your hearts, for tomorrow they shall be moved as they never have been before. has arrived now listen well and be carried away by my thousand tones hmm? something seems different about her doesn't it yes it appears she's already spent our payment on those fine clothes alas I must apologize for I cannot carry you away just yet. I've come into a spot of trouble, you see. You have? Look here. The string of my loot has frayed. Without replacements, I fear... That our song will have to wait? Indeed. It is tantamount to asking a soldier to charge into battle with a broken sword. Oh, we wouldn't want that happening. If I recall, loot strings are made from the hair of a horse's tail, yes? Indeed, there is but one man nearby with the means to help. But he is not one to offer his aid lightly. He'll have no truck with a wanderer such as I. He scarcely acknowledges my existence. Reminds me of Papa. Then maybe you can help him see reason. Can I count on you? 
You don't need to ask. I'll see what I can do. I see you too can move the hearts of others. <laughs> you might be right about that. With this, I can craft a string worthy of my skill. However, I fear the moment is not right for such a performance. Pray come again tomorrow. And I promise that my melody shall lift you to the heavens. Somehow I'm not surprised. The weight will make the music sound all the sweeter. Be patient, Hikari. If you insist. You're generous with the benefit of the doubt, I see. Looking for you. Do you ever stay in the same spot? My sincerest apologies for the trouble. However, I had no choice but to go where I could best drink in the beauty of tonight's moon. You're right. It's enchanting. wanted its dulcet rays to alight upon my lute as I played your song. Tonight, I perform upon a stage like no other, with string and garb equal to the occasion. All thanks to you, my most honored audience of two. I hope this is worth the trouble. It will be, I assure you. Now, listen. I've never... 
I've never heard such a song before. I was moved, but somehow... I feel so... so sad. By the light of the heart, a favorite of mine. The clothes, the strings, the moon, and they must be just so. It is the only way to perform this song correctly. Nyomi, why did you choose this song to play for us? I've heard it before. I had a friend who would often play the lute for me. She always struck warm tones to match the warmth in her heart. Her name was... Uh, was? But you played the song much differently than she did. You painted it with melancholy. Well then, our business is concluded. I shall take my leave. They're paper lanterns, made to resemble the human soul. The people of the castle town began decorating the streets with them to send off the departed. I see. They may be gone, but they're never far from our hearts. Indeed. And their souls light our way. Lord Hikari! What is it, Benke? Merely an idle suggestion, but might we hold a festival to commemorate our victory? Since time immemorial, Ku has celebrated its victories in war with lavish festivities. We should do the same, so the people can come to love their new king. No. But why, your majesty? Our friends' wounds are still fresh, their bodies and minds still raw. We all lost much in the war. There is no cause for celebration. You have a kind heart, Hikari. But you shouldn't be so dour all the time. Seeing you happy will make others happy in turn. Agnea. You try this. Hold a festival to pray for the happiness of those you've lost. And in that way, we mourn our friends. I see the merit in that. A ritual of remembrance. I like it. A splendid idea. I'll begin preparations right away. 
Lady Agnia, would you dance during the celebration? But me? It would be an honor. Well then, we have all we need. Not quite, Benke. A ritual requires the appropriate accoutrements. Ah, but of course, Your Majesty. I suppose I got ahead of myself. I'll help too. After all, a little hard work never scared me. Ah, good, good. I have three items in mind I might ask you to gather for us. Wine to use as an offering, wood from a sacred tree, and of course, a mask for the dancer. You can count on it. I will get So it goes Will this Interesting Is what you were looking for, Ben K? Yes, yes, perfect. Now we've all we need to begin the ritual. And with your lovely steps to add color to the procession, I reckon this will be one for the ages. Patience, Ben K. If Agnia is to dance, we'll need music, yes? Ah. But of course, I suppose I got carried away once again. We can't entrust such an important occasion to just any bard. Do you have anyone in mind? Now that you mention it, a rumor has been spreading among the people. They speak of the dulcet tones of a lute drifting from the tranquil grotto. A loot? Then we know where to go.
The ground is treacherous here. Watch your step. Thank you. <laughs> Are you okay, Agnia? Sorry. I'm so clumsy sometimes. And yet you move forward. Such is your nature. If you should stumble again, take my hand. I will. Thank you, Hikari. The beginning of Ku, or so they say. The beginning? Hikari, that sound, it's... I know. Let's keep going. has been entirely too long. Yomi! I had a feeling it was your loot the townsfolk were whispering about. Oh, -ho. far and wide people speak of me in awe. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that. Why are you playing in a place like this? I was waiting for you, Lord Hikari. And remembering my dear sister. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Often, we would take refuge in these very caves and play the loot together. A battered thing we found on the road its strings were rotted, and its sound was warped. Nonetheless, for lowborn like us, hearing it was like living in a dream. One night, we overheard our parents speaking. Why were we burdened with twins? We can't raise them both. We have to leave one in the mountains. My hand was trembling in fear, but my sister wrapped hers around it. And so she held me until sleep came. When I awoke, she was gone. She had left our home so that I could stay. I was all alone, and despite how poor we were, 
I managed to make it to adulthood. Day after day, I plucked at the loot. My sister always in my thoughts. And to my surprise, I actually became quite good at it. During my travels, my sister and I were reunited. She served as an attendant to the royal family of Ku, and lived in the castle town. I know her name. It was Suki, wasn't it? Just so, Lord Hikari. Was. Tsuki is no longer with us. She was taken by the very clan she served. <sighs> Ikari. I know it is ridiculous to bear a grudge against you. Lord Hikari. But what else is there for me to do? No matter how often I sing of her, my pain does not subside. Lord Hikari, would the sight of your blood wash my suffering away? It's as you said, Clan Ku took everything from you. And I will bear that burden, Lady Yomi. If there is anything I can do to ease your pain, then I will do it. If I must. On your guard. My turn. Predictable. Here I come. Too slow. My turn. Predictable. Prepare you. My turn. Prepare. I fight for my friends. Shinju Monjikiri! Who's next? <sighs> Lady Yomi. Lord Hikari. You are strong, and your heart is kind. I have no doubt that my sister was happy to serve your family. Itsuki, forgive me. I couldn't do anything for you in return. She would be happy to see that you still live. Yomi. Why don't we pray for your sister's happiness together? Together? There will be a ritual to honor the departed, to mourn their passing. Will you lend us your loot to send off your sister and the countless others? Lord Hikari.
<laughs> You've gotten much better, Yomi. Thanks to you, Tsuki. No, Yomi, no. You chose this path yourself. Just as I chose mine. Lord Hikari will guide us to a brighter future. I'm sure of it. You have much faith in him, Tsuki. <laughs> what can I do, Tsuki? I would repay the favor I owe you. Just play your lute for a little while longer. Hearing it sets my heart at ease. So please, just for a little while longer? <laughs> <laughs>